Hello and welcome back to our cooking section of this channel and today we will be making tofu with a bean that is not a soybean so a very special recipe and for that purpose I have brought my friends here we have Polly and Lucas which are real Brazilians right? Vocês são brasileiros verdadeiros. Sim. Ótimo. <laughs> so, they brought a recipe for us and yeah, let's start. So, the first step will be how Lucas told me that yeah, we have the beans here which are called beans andu. I don't know if that's the right translation. But that's what the translator told me. Uh, that's basically um, in the family of the soybeans. So that should work as well to do the tofu. And I heard it's good for the um, digestive system. So let's go. Let's start. We'll put a bit of water inside. No importa quanto... Um, ah, like two fingers above. Nós vamos usar tudo isso. So we will use all of that. All right. After blending the beans with the water for a time until it becomes well blended, we put that mixture inside that net and then we will strain it so just the liquid comes out of here alright so basically blending that bean and straining it that is what takes the longest of the whole process of making tofu it's quite time consuming here you can see how to make it we Basically, you can just take a normal kitchen cloth, put it inside, and then strain it. Just like that. Just like milking a cow. What is the difference of the tofu from soybeans and andu beans? Qual é a diferença do produto feito? Ah, so the tofu comes out a bit darker, yeah. but the taste is the same. Gosto tá o mesmo. O gosto é praticamente o mesmo. Basically the same. Tá um pouco diferente o gosto, mas é ligeiro. A little bit different, but basically the same. So one side note: uh, that bean has been sitting in water for days, honestly. Uh, for 10 hours so yeah before doing that the bean has to be in the water like at least eight hours and then it can be blended with the water and then it can be strained so now we're turning on the stove and what we have strained we'll put inside the milk when the milk starts boiling, nós vamos é, cortar, tirar o caldo do limão e vamos jogar aos poucos o limão nele fervendo. We will take those lemons and then little by little we'll put the lemon juice inside that boiling um, milk. So those are lemons. Isso é limão? Uhum. É, limão. Why, why is it orange? Por que tá laranja? É a qualidade dele, mas é limão. Ele é... é... Ele está maduro, é uma espécie. É uma espécie de limão, é conhecido como laranjinha, e ele fica dessa cor, assim. Alright, so she's saying that's a kind of lemon, which is orange. Yeah, they have those things here in Brazil. And I promise it's not an orange. So as soon as it starts boiling, the fogo baixa. 
we'll take a spoonful of the juice and then we will be putting it inside. And that has to be done on a small fire. So because it's on a low fire, it takes a bit of time until it starts boiling, little by little. So we put the orange juice inside little by little and as you can see here it's already having its chemical reactions, it's boiling and it's looking nicely. So at this point we can add other ingredients that for the taste like here we have oregano, here we have salt the only things we have, so this is the time to put it in. So what we do now, we'll put that inside that form and here the water will go down and only the tofu will be still there. So we got the bigger parts already in here and then we'll put the rest through that sieve, just like that. So, now we will have that, we'll put that on top to press the water out. So now that we have that, it will rest for three hours inside the fridge and then it would be ready, ready to eat. So that's it. So while we were doing that, we figured out that Fejawandu means or can be translated as pigeon pea in English. So if you're looking for that, you can find that. And a big thanks to my friends Polly and Lucas. Thank you for participating. Obrigado para participar. And yeah, we'll see how it turns out. See you! Okay, so this has been sitting in the fridge overnight, so let's see how it turned out. There it is, the tofu. So the result is a bit soft and crumbly. Not like I know the tofu, but I think it could be used really nicely with a spread and a bread with some salt so let's try that all right so i put it inside that bread let's try how it tastes mm. it's really good so i really like the taste it's really nice so it's not the tofu that I expected. I guess next time I'll look for a recipe that is that can make the tofu more firm and stick together. But I like I like I really like the result, and I would call it a success.